This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Chris Lechons. Today is also the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. He is a patron saint of young men. He began to practice prayer and penance at a very young age. He joined the Jesuits, hoping to go for missions, but in 1591, there was a severe plague in Rome. So while caring for the sick and dying, he also died at the age of 23. Let us pray for the young men today, seeking the powerful intercession of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, acknowledging our failures, weaknesses before the Lord, and ask him pardon. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. To intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga join penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his, his merits and intercessions that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Kings. Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, sent messengers again to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall you speak to king of Hezekiah of Judah. Do not let your God, on whom you rely, deceive you by promising that Jerusalem will not be given into the hands of the king of Assyria. See. You have heard what the king of Assyria have done in all the lands, destroying them utterly. Shall you be delivered? Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord, the God of Israel, who are enthroned above the cherubim. You are God and you alone of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to mock the living God. Truly, O Lord, the king of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and have hurled their gods into the fire. Though they were no gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone, and so they were destroyed. 
So now, O Lord our God, save us, I pray you, from his, ha from his hand, so that all the kingdom on the earth may know that you, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, went to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I have heard your prayer to me about the king Sennacherib of Assyria. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, she scorns you, virgin daughter of Zion. She tosses her head behind your back, daughter Jerusalem, for Jerusalem's rem remnant shall go out, and from the Mount Zion, a hand of survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into the city, shoot an arrow there, come before it with a shield, or cast out the and seize the ramp against it. By the way that he came, by the way he shall return. He shall not come into the city, says the Lord, and I will defend this city to save it, for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That very night, the angel of the Lord set out and struck down 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. When the morning dawned, they were all dead bodies. Then King Sennacherib of Assyria left, went home, and lived in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The responsorial psalm, the reply, God upholds this city forever. God upholds this city forever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds this city forever. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king, Within its citadels, God has shown himself and sure defense. God upholds the city forever. We ponder your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your name, O God, like your praise, reaches to the end of the earth. Your right hand is filled with victory. God upholds the city forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them underfoot and turn and maul you. In everything do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate. For the gate is wide 
and the road is easy that leads to destruction and there are many who take it for the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life and there are few who find it The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus teaches us the summary of the law and the prophets. Do to others what you would like them to do to you. We all like others speaking good of us so jesus asks us to speak good of others we all don't like anyone speaking bad of us so jesus asks us not to speak bad of others jesus wants us to choose the right path of life however difficult it could be so let us try our best to enter through the narrow gate with the help of god himself Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this word. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine, we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by your Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to Lord God. Wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me from my Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of pure grace through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let's pray for the departed souls.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, St. Aloysius Gonzaga, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us obey each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. And following the example of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ.